Namaste and welcome viewers to another brand new episode of Mirror Prime. It's me, Ashish Parekh. India has finally reached a stage where we have started recognizing sports beyond cricket and much of this has to do with the fact that we are now winning medals across different disciplines, different competitions like the Commonwealth Games. In fact, we won 61 medals at the Birmingham Games in 2022 and naturally expected to better the tally this year. However, India has now been dealt with a huge blow. Six out of the 12 sports in which India won a medal last time have now been dropped from this year's game. These games had contributed to 30 out of India's 61 medals last time. And now, with these games being dropped, India's medal tally will also sink. In fact, the number of games at the Commonwealth Games has now been reduced from 19 last time to 10 this time. Here's a list of the games that have been retained and those that have been dropped. Games like athletics, swimming, track cycling, weightlifting and boxing have been included. Popular events like badminton, cricket, hockey, wrestling and table tennis where India has definite chances of winning have been dropped. Naturally, Indian authorities are furious. They are speaking to the organizers and even considering a boycott. Though realistically, I don't think much is going to change now given the fact that the final decision has already been taken. But before the slamming the organizers, let's put into context what exactly happened and why were so many games dropped? Australia's Victoria was the original host of the 2026 Commonwealth Games, but they pulled out at the last minute after realizing that the cost and the budget was too much for them to handle. And this is when Glasgow stepped to save the day. Naturally, Glasgow decided to host a trimmed down version of this entire game to cut costs and also avoid extra expenditure. And while all this is understandable, it is also important to acknowledge that this is a big blow to thousands of athletes who are expecting a medal at these games. On the other hand, Indian sports fans are also furious. They are also questioning the selective inclusion of certain games at the cost of dropping popular global sports like hockey. We'll be discussing this in detail right now. Joining us on the broadcast, Shimon Sharif, former international shooter, Sujit Kumar, former hockey player for India. He also represented India at the 1988 Summer Olympics. Ranjit Bajaj, who's a sports enthusiast. Ranjit, I'll start with you now. This is a big blow to Indian sports. We shouldn't be surprised if our medal tally is now down by 50%. Well, good evening, Ashish. Thank you so, so much for having me. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. Not only that, it hurts our chances. Uh, in fact, especially now when hockey has is doing so well on the international stage, we have just become uh, the Olympic bronze medalist. And uh, right now, Commonwealth Games, I think we should be we would have been expecting a gold medal, and both the men's and the women's. And in fact, they do this to us every time. I think. I mean, I would believe. It's a targeted move. Why? Because they've done it before where shooting was there and then they've done it where wrestling was there. Somehow, uh, the, in Commonwealth, the games which are excluded are the ones which India does well in, especially with wrestling and uh, shooting and now uh, the, the axe falls on hockey. So, uh, we need to stand up. We need to, like, BCCI is there and there's such a sports power, I mean, sport, uh, heavy voice in world cricket. I think we need our IOC members, IOA members to be going up to IOC and saying, why is this happening? Or even in the Commonwealth Games. Because if that doesn't happen, who is going to stand up for us? Because end of the day, when these guys don't play in the Commonwealth, uh, the entire game suffers. And when the game suffers, the millions of boys who are, and girls who are playing in the grassroots suffer. Absolutely. Sujit Kumar, you played hockey, you represent India at the Olympics as well. And Indian fans are really upset with the fact that hockey has been dropped this time at this Commonwealth Games. And this is also because of the fact that India has been doing well in hockey recently. And we were almost sure shot going to win a medal as well here. But uh, this opportunity has been denied. And again, I'm talking about conspiracy theories here, Sujit. Let's look at the sports that have been dropped because it's interesting how most of the games which are dropped for this Commonwealth Games are where nations like India do well. And the dropped games like hockey are also much popular and bigger than those that have been included. See, hockey mein lagatar second time we have bronze medal. Jeeta. Now we are doing very well. 
अभी हॉकी में वर्ल्ड वाइड इंडिया एक ऐसी टीम है वो किसी को भी जीत सकती है एक्चुअली हॉकी में इस बार लास्ट टाइम जो हमारी ब्रांच हमने जीता वो ब्रांच नहीं एक्चुअली में हमारा सिल्वर था अनफॉर्चुनेटली हम जो है ब्रांच हमको मिला और इस बार जो टीम हमारी जिस हिसाब से खेल रही थी वो हमको गोल्ड लाना चाहिए था लेकिन फिर हमको ब्रांच मिला क्योंकि हॉकी की टीम इस समय वर्ल्ड में नंबर वन और टू पे स्टैंड कर रही है और हॉकी के साथ साथ हमारी शूटिंग भी आप देखो दिस पेरिस ओलंपिक में हमारी शूटिंग टीम ने बहुत अच्छा किया तो शूटिंग हॉकी भाई क्रिकेट को तो आपने मलेशिया में जब कॉमनवेल्थ था आपने इंट्रोड्यूस किया आज उसको बैन कर दिया आपने बैडमिंटन बैन कर दिया हॉकी बैन कर दिया शूटिंग बैन कर दिया रेसलिंग बैन कर दिया जो हमारा मेन गेम था जिसमें हम मेडल ला सकते थे बैडमिंटन रेसलिंग हॉकी और शूटिंग तो ये डिसीजन बिल्कुल गलत है भाई किसी आप वर्ल्ड वाइड आप कोई भी बॉडी है आपको स्पोर्ट स्पोर्ट्स को प्रमोट करना है आपको नए नए स्पोर्ट्स को इंट्रोड्यूस करना है लोगों को ये बताना है कि ये सिर्फ जो है पैसा कमाने की बॉडी नहीं है ये प्रमोट करने की बॉडी है और हमको ज्यादा से ज्यादा स्पोर्ट्स को प्रमोट करना चाहिए जब तक आप प्रमोट नहीं करेंगे स्पोर्ट्स तो दूसरी कंट्री में कैसे डेवलप होगा स्पोर्ट कैसे प्लेयर आगे आएंगे प्लेयर का फ्यूचर कैसे बनेगा आपने हॉकी बंद कर दिया जबकि कॉमनवेल्थ में हॉकी जो है स्पेक्ट कर रहे थे गोल्ड मेडल के लिए तो ये ये हमारे हमको डाइजेस्ट नहीं हो रहा है कि आप इस तरह से डिसीजन ले सकते हैं इंटरनेशनल कॉमनवेल्थ बॉडी इस तरह से डिसीजन ले सकती है कि मेन मेन गेम जो हमारे इंडिया का है वो आप उसको बैन कर दोगे आप उसको विड्रॉ कर दोगे कॉमनवेल्थ गेम से इट इज रॉन्ग डिसीजन और मुझे तो उम्मीद थी कि कमिंग कॉमनवेल्थ गेम में जिस हिसाब से हमारी टीम खेल रही है हम गोल्ड मेडल लाएंगे हमारी शूटिंग के जो में बच्चे हैं वो गोल्ड लाएंगे रेसलिंग की हमारी अच्छी टीम वो गोल्ड लाएगी बट इट इज रॉन्ग डिसीजन ये गलत चीज है करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली लाइक यू मिस्टर सुजीत एवरी सिंगल इंडियन फैन टुडे इज डिसअपॉइंटेड बिकॉज़ वी एसेंशियली हैव बीन रॉब्ड ऑफ अ मेडल व्हिच वाज ऑलमोस्ट गारंटीड द ओनली कंपटीशन इंडिया वुड हैव हैड इन हॉकी दिस टाइम अराउंड वुड हैव बीन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड वी इवन डिफीटेड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एट द ओलंपिक्स सो अ लॉट ऑफ डिसअपॉइंटमेंट देयर एज़ फार एज़ इंडियन फैंस आर कंसर्न एंड इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट हॉकी वी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट शूटिंग एज़ वेल शिमोन शरीफ यू बीन अ फॉर्मर इंटरनेशनल शूटर now shooting has been out of the cwg since 2018 and when victoria was to host the commonwealth games this year shooting was included suddenly today we are finding out that shooting is also not part of this how does it affect all these players all these athletes who have been preparing for so many years then india has been doing really well in shooting as well so it's almost like we've lost a few medals there also a big blow to uh, not only indian shooting but also for the country shooting has been the number one sport uh, when it for, for the country when it comes to commonwealth games uh, let me remind uh, everyone that uh, shooting has contributed a major chunk of medals 135 medals in the commonwealth games history till date uh, removing that will certainly affect uh, 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 india's ranking uh, in the overall medal tally because indian shooters used to contribute about uh, let's say about uh, uh, 20 odd medals in in each edition of the commonwealth games um uh, yes it's also a, a big blow uh, to an individual uh, athlete an individual shooter or maybe an athlete from other sport also which have been removed because see the commonwealth games are uh, the first multi discipline event for any upcoming uh, sports star it it provides the kind of financial fill up when an athlete wins a medal in the commonwealth games uh, the government uh, gives 30 lakhs uh, as 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 a prize money for the gold and 20 for the lakh for the silver 10 lakh for the bronze so it provides a, a, a financial fill up to prepare an athlete for larger uh, bigger sporting events uh, leading up to the olympics uh, not only the the uh, cash incentives right. but also a medal ensures an athlete of a government job which is a long term uh, security for any athlete and to deny a uh, athlete from Correct. this opportunity from winning a medal in the commonwealth games is a huge blow to a athlete's career you remember uh, neeraj chopra first came into national limelight because of his gold in the 2018 commonwealth games so it's a very big blow for every athlete exactly. who's Correct. been denied That's a good this point. opportunity absolutely in fact ranjit now we have to give it to glasgow for stepping in at the last minute and today everyone is talking about how so many games have been dropped but we have to understand that glasgow was not supposed to host these games they saved the games at the last minute but the problem here 
is that while they have done a good job by making sure at least the games are not dropped, the games continue, but the list of games that you look right now, especially as an Indian fan today, it has killed the excitement completely. I mean, how does one justify include games like lawn balls, netball, artistic gymnastics, judo, or sports like badminton, cricket, hockey, and wrestling? I mean, cricket alone, if you're talking about revenue, if they included cricket alone, they would have generated enough revenue from Southeast Asia. Yes, I think today sports is all about TRP and the commercial value behind it. There's no biggest, bigger commercial brand than the Indian cricket, even the B or C Indian cricket team going and playing there. They would have still been the biggest stars earning them the maximum money. I think they lost out on a great opportunity there. In fact, what we need to do, uh, we need to step up for our sportsmen because I think it's allowed because last time the shooting also happened in a different country. In fact, India hosted it. Uh, the part of it where we were supposed to when the COVID happened and uh, different venues were having. So we can actually go go up and tell them that fine, we will host the, the hockey and the shooting and this. We, we should step up because if we are going to try to host the Olympics later on, which is our dream in 2036, this will be a great fill up for at least developing these three venues and also for making sure some of the, we find some new stars for those Olympics because now all the games Till uh, 2036 is going to be devoted to our home Olympics because that's the dream of India winning medals in the Olympics. And on top of that, I think this is a time where at least um, uh, these sports which have got us, like Simon, says, Simon said, the bulk of the medals, which are shooting, which are badminton, which are wrestling and uh, cricket, obviously. In fact, the, the viewership from India will probably also be cut down by 60% or 70%. And that means a huge chunk of viewership. But Ranjit, sport. sorry to interrupt you. What do you think of these conspiracy theories that are coming out? Because, I mean, I don't, I don't want to contribute to these conspiracy theories. But if you look closely at these games that have been selected, the pattern in which they have been selected, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you can host a game like netball, why wouldn't you host a game like table tennis? I mean, the resources needed for table tennis are much lower, <coughs> much smaller. So, it's, it just doesn't add up. Exactly. So, you know, you could understand they, would, they could come up with excuses. Okay, you know, hockey is a team-based game and, you know, you have to get so many teams and each this is one medal, but each team is 30 people and that is why the costs go up. Like you said, uh, table tennis is just requires one table and you can have in one hall, the entire uh, uh, competition going on. And if you can do that with lawn balls and with a, with a game which is not there in any of the major competitions and you can exclude games which are there in the Olympics or in the Asian Games, then I think India needs to send a strong message that if you do this, see, what's the point of playing in a games which don't have your game? I mean, what's the point of going and playing in Commonwealth Games and sending an Indian team for lawn balls? What's the point of doing that? So, we rather tell them that if this is what the pro process is, tomorrow they'll ban four more where we do well. Then, where will we be left? So, we need to put our foot down. We need to, it doesn't matter Correct. if it's a conspiracy theory or not, if it's a matter of money, whatever it is, we need to put our foot down and say that we deserve to have at least these games or tell us what the costs are. Maybe we can uh, provide a fill up because India is a big economic power. We can fill up. I think our hockey team get enough get enough sponsors mm. for the entire all the hockey teams there. Absolutely. In fact, in fact, uh, Scotland, I believe, uh, at the Cricket World Cup recently, also had an Indian sponsor. So I yeah. think if right. they had worked things out, it would have been much, 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 much better as well uh, for them during this uh, Commonwealth Games as well. But Mr. Sujit, I mean, I I do understand that host nations try to take home advantage. They try to include games that they are good at, but. Do you think this has been taken too far? Someone was telling me recently that Australia, uh, many, many years ago, had included a sport called trampoline. And this caused a furor across the world because nobody knew what it was. Nobody knew how to play it. Australia did it. Australia won the gold. But again, at the end of the day, when you do it with one or two sports, it's understandable. But you see a host of games here, which a lot of countries that are participating don't even play that much. Wait. Normally, क्या होता है international जो भी federation होती है नए game introduce करती है ठीक है ना अब उनको ये सोचना चाहिए जो game India का main game है wrestling hockey badminton shooting आप देखो अभी अगर shooting में इतने medals नहीं आए होते तब हमारा हाल क्या होता 
तो इनको चाहिए कि आप नए गेम जो भी इंट्रोड्यूस करो करो जो आपको कंफर्टेबल जोन में आता है वो गेम इंट्रोड्यूस करो लेकिन जहां तक मेन मेन गेम है जहां वर्ल्ड में इंडिया के को रिकॉग्नाइज किया जाता है कम से कम वो गेम तो इंट्रोड्यूस करना है वो बैन नहीं करना चाहिए था उसको विड्रॉ नहीं करना चाहिए था आप क्रिकेट को कोई बात नहीं सैफ गेम में आपने क्रिकेट में भी डाल दिया इधर भी डाल दिया उधर भी डाल दिया उसमें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता लेकिन जहां तक ये मेन पुराना गेम है हमारा हॉकी का हॉकी रेसलिंग शूटिंग बैडमिंटन इसको किसी कीमत पे नहीं हटाना चाहिए चाहे कोई भी नया आप नेट बॉल डालो ये डालो वो डालो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता लेकिन ये गेम जो है इसको हमारी इंडियन हॉकी हॉकी इंडियन हॉकी फेडरेशन जो है हमारी शूटिंग फेडरेशन है रेसलिंग फेडरेशन है बैडमिंटन एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया है सबको अपील करना चाहिए और स्ट्रांगली अपील करना चाहिए कि इस गेम को दोबारा री किया जाए ना ही उसको विड्रॉ किया जाए कॉमनवेल्थ गेम से मैं तो यही कहूंगा कि सारी फेडरेशन एक होकर that scotland's own triathlon team had written a letter to the organizing committee that please hold this event we will give you a smaller format a easier format to host but they were also denied permission so when they don't listen to their own teams in their own country i don't think they they will listen to india as of now but of course we can hope that this happens as well also shimon like you earlier pointed out a medal at events like cwg go a very long way in ensuring financial and job security for a lot of our athletes it's like a stepping stone after this they go to the asian games then we go to the uh, olympics as well so it's it's a step by step process do you think the fact that now we don't even have cwg games this will cause a lot of disappointment in the indian camp because a lot of players that are not well established they will now not even have an opportunity absolutely as i pointed out earlier also you know uh, you could take commonwealth games as the you know the third last step from the ultimate uh, Uh, uh test for an athlete which is the olympic games uh and when you remove that third step of the third last step of the ladder it 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 creates uh, uh, an obstacle for an athlete to reach uh, the asian games and then finally perform uh, in the olympics because as i mentioned you know that commonwealth games medal gives you the kind of uh, financial fill up to prepare yourself for for uh, the bigger test Correct. ahead um uh, removing commonwealth uh, removing these uh, sports uh, uh, from the commonwealth games is a big blow for every uh, in fact for every indian citizen um, uh, this will affect the indian sporting system in a big way and especially for a sport like shooting you know where you're Absolutely. highly dependent on on multi you know you, you so i you know if we talk about cricket being axed from the commonwealth games i don't see much of a problem because cricket is not much dependent on this kind of a platform of commonwealth games or asian games or even to some extent the olympics Correct. because cricket as it is has a huge following the cricket world cup is much bigger for cricket than even the olympics for for other sports so the the cricket uh, will will not be affected but if you talk about sports like hockey uh, shooting and other sports which have been axed that that's Absolutely. a big blow for these sports very, very interesting point shimon that you're raising there because nobody cares about cricket not being a part of this now because anyway we would have sent a second string squad or something like that for the games but what about players who are part of the shooting teams part of the wrestling teams and of course part of the hockey teams as well it's such a disappointing uh, you know news that's come in for them as well ranjit now massive disappointment we are talking about how a lot of players will be disappointed but if there was ever a silver lining in this entire ratio i think we should be happy that a lot of our medal hopefuls will now be fresh for the asian games which is scheduled soon after these games um ashish i would uh, differ here in the view point that in fact if they would have gone for the commonwealth games that would have been a beautiful uh, pre run up or uh, for the asian games that would have been brilliant preparation because the level of the commonwealth games and the asian games is not very far off because you get to play australia i mean ranjit i understand i'm just trying to salvage some positivity out of it yeah, I, know. I, mean, i mean it's yeah, it's it's such a such day, a sad news for indian see, sports if there's see, anything you know, positive that you can pick i think this is this is the only thing yes ashish but i know i would have loved it if we were having a show here when the commonwealth games was going on and we had just won the hockey gold and we had won the badminton gold and we had won the wrestling gold and the shooting gold and we were doing a show on that instead of now just take trying to take a silver lining out of this see like what i mean i totally agree that 
Commonwealth Games used to be such a big fill up in any calendar for a shooter or even for a wrestler because there are only few international events which get us government jobs or which get us money from even the state government he was talking about the national government for example the punjab government haryana government give 60 or 70 lakh rupees for a commonwealth gold medal so even a crore so it's a life changing opportunity and the ones who can qualify for commonwealth and asian games are not the same ones who can qualify for olympics so you see different athletes doing well here and then you know making a way there those athletes might not even get a chance to reach there like neeraj chopra maybe if he had not won the commonwealth games he would have not got enough support to go get enough training to go and become the olympic champion so it's a big absolutely. blow absolutely absolutely yeah, i guess we can take the silver lining out of it you're right that at least you know there's some positives but end of the day we need to always fight for our country and say that we talk to our indian olympic that they at least uh, the association ioa that at least they need to make some kind of a protest some even if it is i know nothing's going to come out of it but at least showing that this you cannot do this to us every single time every single time they cut down our one of our favorite sports absolutely before i wrap this up sujith final question to you now because you were talking about hockey and shooting how these games are important and also how a medal means a lot to the players and they get an opportunity at games like the commonwealth games now hockey and shooting we still win medals at olympics but let's talk about games for example table tennis i mean our table tennis stars usually find success primarily at the cwg level without this platforms their chances for medals at a more competitive events like asian games and olympics become even lesser because there we don't even expect medals from them at least here we would expect a medal out of our table tennis team but there we don't even stand a chance so it's much more tougher for them to digest this yes but like table tennis table tennis ki maybe kuch players hamare paas aise hai jaise manika batra ये और भी प्लेयर्स हैं क्योंकि जैसे कि अभी बोला गया है क्योंकि कॉमनवेल्थ गेम है या जितने भी बड़े इवेंट है हमारे जो भी प्लेयर्स हैं अगर लगातार कॉम्पिटेटिव कॉम्पिटिशन में कम्पीट करते रहते हैं टूर्नामेंट खेलते रहते हैं तो एक एक्सपोजर उनको मिलता है इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर मिलता है वो डे बाई डे इम्प्रूव करते जाते हैं अगले कॉम्पिटिशन के लिए जैसे कॉमनवेल्थ हुआ कॉमनवेल्थ में हमारी टीम चाहे अगर टेबल टेनिस की टीम खेली उसमें मेडल लाई उसमें परफॉर्म करने के बाद हमारे जितने भी प्लेयर हैं उनको एक्सपोजर मिलता है आगे एशियन गेम के लिए या वर्ल्ड टेबल टेनिस जो चैंपियनशिप होती है उसके लिए तो हर कंपटीशन हमारे लिए बहुत ही वैल्यूबल है हर कंपटीशन तो अगर टेबल टेनिस भी हमारे ऐसी बात नहीं कि हमारा हम सिर्फ बाकी गेम की बात कर रहे हैं टेबल टेनिस की बात नहीं कर रहे हैं लेकिन टेबल टेनिस में भी हमारे कुछ प्लेयर ऐसे हैं जिनके हम गर्व कर सकते हैं हम प्राउड कर सकते हैं कि ये हम ये बच्चे हमारे लिए मेडल ला सकते हैं कंट्री के लिए तो कॉमनवेल्थ गेम में टेबल टेनिस का भी हटना वो बहुत अच्छी चीज नहीं है तो लगातार कंपटीशन बच्चों को मिलता रहना चाहिए वो एक गैप आ जाता है जब गैप आ जाता है तो वो एक्सपोजर आपको मिलता नहीं वहाँ ब्रेक हो जाता है तो आगे एशियन गेम वगैरह जो भी कॉम्पिटिशन आता है तो वहाँ वो आ, आपको एक्सपोजर नहीं मिल पाता तो कोशिश आप भाई होना तो ये चाहिए कि टेबल टेनिस को भी साथ में आना चाहिए फेडरेशन का पर हम मैं ये मैं इस फेवर में हूँ कि जितने भी गेम्स थे उन सारे गेम्स के फेडरेशन को यूनाइट होकर के एक लेटर जाना चाहिए वो बात है रिजेक्ट कर दें ग्लासगो स्कॉटलैंड ने अपने भी गेम को रिजेक्ट कर दिया उससे मतलब नहीं है लेकिन इनको सबको यूनाइट होकर के एक लेटर जरूर फेडरेशन को लिखना चाहिए कॉमनवेल्थ काउंसिल को इस गेम को कंसीडर करने के लिए दोबारा सोचें। एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन डेफिनेटली यू नो सुजीत आई थिंक एवरीवन ऑन द पैनल इज ऑफ द सेम ओपिनियन द फैक्ट दैट वी आर हैप्पी एंड वी आर थैंकफुल टू ग्लासगो फॉर होस्टिंग दिस कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे द फैक्ट दैट सो मेनी गेम्स हैव बीन टेकन आउट द गेम्स दैट एक्चुअली ब्रिंग इन व्यूअर्स एस्पेशली फ्रॉम इंडिया नॉट जस्ट व्यूअर्स बट ऑल्सो मेडल्स i mean it's taken the steam out of this entire competition and it remains to be seen if this is the way it goes forward because at the end of the day commonwealth games also if you see the last couple of editions the organizing countries the organizers have also been a little apprehensive about hosting it given the fact that uh, when it comes to revenue as well it isn't really as lucrative as some of the other sporting events so again the organizers have to think about it there's a lot of thinking that has to go as well but all in all it's a very disappointing news for indian sports at the end of the day i think indian sports is going to be the loser right now we'll be losing multiple medals but 
like uh, we were talking with uh, Ranjit now, uh, some, some silver lining there as well will be fresh. Our athletes will be fresh for the Asian Games and the upcoming Olympics. So I think that's the only silver lining we can take out of this. Gentlemen, Shimon Sharif, Sujit Kumar, Ranjit Bajad, appreciate you, appreciate you join, joining us on the broadcast. Of course, sharing your point of view about this entire issue. All right, viewers, on that note, it's a wrap on this edition of the Bulletin. Lots more lined up on the other side. Stay tuned.